Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. Every so often, a picture comes back from space that just stops you in your tracks. And recently, we got one of those from Mars. It shows something, well, something that shouldn't be there. So let's get into it. Okay, here it is. This came to us on October 4th, 2025, straight from the Perseverance rover. You see the typical Martian landscape, right? But then there's that, a bright, perfectly straight line of light just hanging there in the sky. It's so clean, so defined, it immediately made everyone ask, what is that? And that's the description that really took off online. Someone called it a perfect glowing cylinder. That phrase paints such a vivid picture, doesn't it? It's not just a streak. It's something with purpose, with structure. It's what got everybody talking. So yeah, that is the big question. What are we really seeing here? An interstellar visitor, a trick of the light, or something else completely? To figure this out, we can't just guess. We've got to follow the evidence, and that starts with the data. Right, so before we dive into any theories, we need to go to the source, the raw, unprocessed image file that the rover sent home. This is our ground zero, the start of our whole investigation. Now, this isn't some blurry photo from the internet. It's the real deal, official data from NASA. That long string of letters and numbers is basically its serial number. We know it came from the rover's right navigation camera, or NavCam. We know the Martian day called a soul, and we even know the exact time it was taken. All of this proves the image is legit and gives us the solid facts we need to start. And here's a really important piece of the puzzle. NASA puts these images out there for everyone to see, and they are totally raw, no editing, no touch-ups. Because of that, seeing weird stuff like bright streaks or strange blobs is actually pretty normal. It could be anything from a cosmic ray hitting the sensor to a piece of dust. So just seeing an anomaly doesn't automatically mean it's something flying over Mars. Okay, so if weird streaks are common, why did this one blow up? Why did it get so much attention? Well, the answer comes down to some incredible timing and a very special visitor from outside our solar system. It didn't take long for people to connect this glowing streak to one specific object, the interstellar comet 3I slash Atlas. And just so we're all on the same page, you pronounce that 3I Atlas. Now, this wasn't just a wild guess. The reason this theory gained so much traction was all about timing. But it was more than just the timing. As one post pointed out, the object didn't look like a typical fuzzy comet. It didn't seem to have a dusty tail. Instead, the observation was that it had structure. And that word, structure, is what really fueled the idea that Perseverance had caught a picture of something truly unique. And this is where the story gets really compelling. The whole case for this object being 3i Atlas gets much, much stronger when you just look at the calendar. The timing is what turned this from just another glitch into a possible historic observation. So check this out. In September of 2025, Comet 3I-Atlas makes its closest pass by the planet Mars. Then, just a few weeks later, on October 4th, bam, the rover captures this image. The online discussion starts almost immediately. You can see why people connected the dots, right? The timing just seems too perfect to be a coincidence. So you've got this interstellar object in the neighborhood right around the time a strange picture is taken from the surface. The next logical question has to be, could the rover's camera actually have seen it? Is that even possible? To answer that, we actually have to stop looking at the sky and start looking at the camera itself. Because sometimes the biggest mysteries aren't what's happening out in space, but what's happening inside the very instruments we're using to look. And this brings us to a super important concept called an image artifact. Basically, it's a ghost in the machine, a visual glitch that's created by the camera hardware or the software, not by the thing you're actually trying to photograph. And for cameras operating in the harsh environment of space, these artifacts are a known, expected thing. And there are a ton of things that can cause them. A single cosmic ray, a tiny high energy particle zipping through space could hit the camera sensor just right and light up a whole line of pixels. Or you could have a bright light source just off camera causing a reflection inside the lens. It's not that the camera's broken, it's just physics doing its thing. And then there's the issue of distance. I mean, we say the comet made a close approach to Mars, but in space, close is a very relative term. 
we are talking about an estimated 40 million kilometers away. That is an absolutely enormous distance. Trying to photograph an object that far away with a nav cam, a camera designed to look for rocks in front of the rover, is just incredibly improbable. So now we have two very different ideas on the table. One is a spectacular, once-in-a-lifetime astronomical event. The other is a common, well-understood camera glitch. So let's put them head-to-head -head and see how they stack up. The biggest point for the 3i slash ATLS theory is without a doubt the timing. It's a powerful coincidence. But the key difference is the source. Is it an actual object in the sky or an effect from inside the camera? And when you get to likelihood, well, Image artifacts are a known and common part of rover imagery. Capturing an object from 40 million kilometers away like this would be completely unprecedented. So when you weigh all the evidence, it really does point in one direction. While that timing is an absolutely fantastic coincidence, the physics of the camera and the sheer scale of the distances involved make it almost certain that this glowing cylinder is a visual artifact, a ghost in the rover's machine. But saying it's an artifact, isn't the end of the story. In fact, you could argue it's where the story gets even more interesting, because the conversation this image created tells us something really powerful about doing science in the modern world. See, this whole thing shouldn't be seen as a failure or people being wrong. It's actually a huge success for open access science. The fact that anyone on Earth with an internet connection can look at the exact same raw data as a top NASA scientist and ask their own questions, that is truly revolutionary. So the real takeaways here are bigger than just one image. It's that we can all be a part of exploring Mars right now. It's that an amazing coincidence can get us all talking and learning. And most importantly, it shows that our shared curiosity about the universe is a powerful thing that can connect people all over the world. And that really leaves us with one last thought. This particular image was probably a glitch, but the curiosity it sparked was 100% real. It does makes you wonder, with all of this raw data streaming back to Earth every single day, how many more incredible mysteries are just sitting there waiting in the archives for the next curious person to find them?